The attentions of WWE's gaming universe has already turned to what WWE 2K17 will bring. We're just six months away from new games release, and if the current trend of 2K's improving titles continue, WWE 2K17 should just about knock our socks off. Despite all of the progress shown with 2K16, there are still a couple of rough edges that need to be sorted out before the new game hits the shelves in the autumn. I'm Ross from WhatCulture.com, and here are 10 things WWE 2K17 must include. Number 10. Better Object Detection Well, would you look at that? Neville isn't just the man that gravity forgot, he's also the man that object detection forgot. <laughs> this is a problem that blights many games in general, so this gripe isn't reserved for 2K alone. It's still a problem that appeared all too regularly in 2K16 though, and really went a long way to spoiling the majority of stellar graphic work seen elsewhere in the game. 2K have reportedly failed to update their basic game engine since the days of SmackDown vs Raw meaning the new animations that have been added into the hair, cloth and other materials are still susceptible to some botched object detection. This happens in FIFA and stuff like that though, so it's okay though, it's not too bad. Arms going through turnbuckles, backs disappearing through the mats. Can we just have a virtual WWE universe with solid services please 2K? Please. Number 9. A virtual currency to spend on DLC packs. You know what I hate? spending more ducats on a game that I've already spent bare ducats on. I can't accept having to pay more money for features that should have been included in the game to begin with. I mean, why should we have to be paying more money to play as Los Matadores? Maybe 2K should be looking at FIFA, where you earn a virtual currency through playing matches and completing objectives that allow you to buy nice things. I know it doesn't really make a lot of business sense, but it would be best for business in the eyes of the fans, and that's all that matters. Number 8. Every member of the current roster included in the game. Well, I mean every single member of the roster around WrestleMania season, when all the character scans take place, but you know what I mean. Now I don't know about you, but I'm still a little bit miffed that we didn't get the four horsewomen in WWE 2K16. 2K claimed they didn't have time to get the ladies in, even though they were all established members of the NXT roster around WrestleMania season last year. That just seems a bit... A bit wrong, doesn't it? Especially when Samoa Joe, a man who made his NXT debut in May no less, got included in the Future Stars DLC pack. Hmm. Number 7. More responsive gameplay. How many times does reversal appear on the screen, you hit the button and nothing happens? We need a responsive reversal system that's more than just hit and miss. It's funny because the responsiveness of the pinning system is far quicker, so why can't the powers of B make reversals just as rapid? Number 6. Backstage roaming. Oh how we used to have it so good. Backstage roaming was what made Smackdown just bring it one of the better wrestling games of all time. You could quite literally take a match anywhere you wanted. All you had to do was step on one of those little red arrows and you'd be off, teleporting here, there and everywhere. Today, diddly squat. Bring it back please 2K, it would be amazing. Number 5. More returning match types. 2K16 brought back a lot of the match types that were missing from the previous year, but there's still some way to go. The likes of Buried Alive, Casket, Ambulance, Inferno, Backstage Brawl, they're all still missing. I want to brutalize people. Number four, more returns in the creation suite. You know, same formula here. Bring back, create a match type, create a finisher, and other popular features from years gone by. The massive scope of past creation suites is just what made them so great. We just need more in the modern day. We need more, we want more. I hope we get more. Number 3. Rene Young to be made into a human being again in my career. Ah! What's that? Where's Rene? What have you done with her? You spend hours and hours and hours sculpting Fandango's eyebrows, and Rene Young still looks like that. Like some sort of zombie robot complete with black teeth, Medusa's hair, and the personality of Roman Reigns. I mean, look at her in real life, she's lovely! Don't get me wrong, 2K16's My Career Mode is exactly what we wanted to see. Our own decisions meant that we took control of our own destinies. We created organic rivalries that we wanted to take part in. So let's hope we get more of that. But a proper Rene. A Rene without the pauses. Oh, the pauses. Number two, GM mode. It's been so long. Nine years. Nine years have passed since we've had a full GM mode to write home about in a WWE game. There was nothing better than being put in the role of an on-air authority figure and given all the responsibilities that come with that. It was one hell of an undertaking, but endless hours of fun. Bring it back, 2K. At number one, a WCW showcase mode. Look, we all loved the Attitude Era. It was wrestling at its best and most popular. 
but hasn't it been done to death by now? If 2K really want to do something on wrestling's most popular period, why don't they look over the road, if you will? Why don't they do something about WCW? We all know that WWE bought out WCW. They own everything. It just makes sense. It would be really, really good. It's the proverbial elephant in the room, and until a WWE 2K game includes it, it's going to be there. Are there any we missed? Let me know in the comments below. I've been Ross from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon.